Hey y'all, welcome back to Poplar Creek Farm. I'm heading out to the garden right now. Haven't been spending a whole lot of time in the garden. It's been busy um, and my husband has been helping a lot with harvesting. So he's been out here actually a lot more than I have and things are a little neglected. Um, things are a little crazy. It's a jungle, lots of weeds, um, kind of the usual, especially this point in the year. Um, but there's a few things I want to work on right now and start getting some things reset actually for next year. Um, so my beans, my green beans, yellow beans, and my gold rush, not gold rush, that's the yellow beans, uh, dragon tongue beans are, are pretty much done for the year at this point. Um, they have slowed their production way down and honestly we have so many beans stored up. I have so many beans canned and frozen um, that I have plenty for the year. So instead of leaving this and just letting the weeds go absolutely berserk, um, what I want to do is actually take up, um, first I'm going to take up the drip tape that is here. You cannot see it at all, so it's going to be a bit of a jungle to pull up. Um, I'm going to pull up as much as I can. I might leave it on the tomato rows for right now, but everything else is going to get pulled up. Um, they don't need it. I don't need it. We've been getting plenty of green, so I really don't need it at all. Um, and I may just leave it on these bean rows that are drying beans just because to pull them up, I don't want to pull up the plants. Whereas like other places, I don't care. And again, same thing with the peppers. Um, but the watermelon that didn't do anything, the zucchini that didn't do anything, I don't need drip tape on those rows anymore. So I figure I'll go ahead and pull that up. Um, I'm going to weed whack down the bean rows and like, I may leave, I don't know. So I may leave, I don't know, some of this. These are zinnias and I mean, they're just starting to bloom. Um, there's some there, but like I could cover this. I can weed whack these two rows down. This is watermelon. There's literally nothing. Um, weed whack them down and then go ahead and cover them with woven weed fabric uh, to basically kill the weeds to help prevent anything from growing. Um, so then next year, these won't be as weedy. So basically my plan is to weed whack down rows that I can. Um, we did, I did go ahead and order woven weed fabric. I have 600 feet of three feet wide woven weed, fab woven weed fabric. Um, I don't want to cover these walkways because this is clover and I want to leave that. That actually, if you, you, when you look through here, most of the weeds are in the actual rows where the plants are, not the walkways because the walkways are choked out by the clover, which is wonderful. And that was the whole point of that. Um, unfortunately, the rows themselves are not choked out. So there is tons and tons of weeds. Um, so if I put this one weed fabric down that doesn't have any holes in it yet, it's basically going to act like a tarp and kill all the junk that's under there. Um, and I do want to also move this stuff, tarps, move these tarps over to another area. Our garden plan is changing a lot for next year. Our garden is changing a lot for next year. The plan we've kind of settled on um, and has is going to be, I'll explain, but it's going to be good. Um, so this area that has been like tomatoes, beans, more beans, peppers, so to speak, zucchini and watermelon and things, this area is staying the way it is. Okay. This area is all going to stay. We're going to put one weed fabric down on as many rows as we possibly can. Um, but we are growing for ourselves now. We are not growing for market because obviously I failed at that. I didn't have the time with working two days a week, having two markets a week, I didn't have the time to maintain this like I would like to. So the plan is keep this brassica row right here, that over, I might even cut that brassica row down, we'll see. But that's gonna be row our row garden. Over here is going to be squash and potatoes. Um, originally we were gonna keep potatoes up at my parents' house, but trying to maintain stuff up there when it's it's only five minutes away but it's still five minutes away and driving up there all the time to try to weed um try to hill all those things just wasn't working it wasn't it didn't happen i didn't do it because like it was too hard to get up there again i can barely maintain this let alone another space so we're gonna go ahead and do everything here my parents are also only up there on the weekend so they were stressed out all the time trying to weed and do everything for them, you know, for us to help us. Um, it also helps them obviously, cause they were getting some of the produce, although production wasn't great because none of us were maintaining it well. Uh, so we're going to do all here again. I am not doing markets next year. It's going to be, this is just going to be for us. 
Um, some will, my parents can have some if they want, but this is mostly, we are trying to grow food for ourselves right now. We are going to do a corn patch, a sweet corn patch in the back field where next to our pigs, um, there's going to, it'll all be sweet corn. This corn here is all dent corn. Um, and we're not going to do this again anytime super soon. We may do it again in the future when we have more time to work it up and everything. Um, but we really want some sweet corn in the backfield next to the pigs. It will be, um, that'll be sweet corn and it'll be fenced in with electric fencing. So this is all going to be, we'll till this up because it is rose right now. And we're going to till it to just kind of make it look nicer and be a little bit better. Um, flatten it out and then this is going to be our established we'll do squash and potatoes up here and corn in the backfield and like squash and potatoes will just rotate every other year so squash will be in the back corn will be up or potatoes will be up here and vice versa in the following years uh, our row gardens will still rotate where things are um, but for the most part this will stay the same the corn area we may you know we'll we'll have to till it and we'll chop it down but like the pigs can get a lot of this so, like the corn stalks will go right to the pigs every year um and it'll be really convenient and if we need at the end of a season if it'll kind of depend on where we do it and how exactly we want to do it um but we can allow the pigs just to chomp it down in like the early spring till it up themselves and then replant um which will be really nice so over here as you see there's really not much there's a few red cabbages but they're pretty much choked out by weeds the corn is doing okay. Um, you can see like up here is really struggling and then it does okay and then not good again. Mostly weeds. There are some cabbages that are still in here and are doing okay. Like this one's probably ready to harvest. Um, and I'm going to start harvesting these up and then I'm going to move these tarps over just to help kill some of this, this weed pressure down um, so that next year is not as bad, hopefully. And this tarp has been here for a good couple weeks. Actually, it's been here probably for couple months now a month or so probably I'd have to look back but everything is killed now obviously you see we put some we'd put some cardboard down too um and then put this on but this is stuff is very much dead you can see it was starting to sprout and then it just dies back everything just dies back so I guess there are still a few weeds sprouting holy that is hot Whew. but it's better than nothing to put this down is better than not doing anything so back to the actual task at hand oh my cucumbers are actually starting to do something you can see these are lemon cucumbers so there's little baby lemon cucumbers so i have to keep an eye on those but we're gonna pull up the oh my god we're gonna pull up the drip tape and then weed whack down these bean rows and then go ahead and put woven weed fabric down to kill this i can't 100% put the woven weed fabric down yet because I don't have the landscape staples. They're supposed to come. They were supposed to be here already, but they're not. Um, they should come tomorrow, but we'll see. So let's get this done and we'll see the big change. Really quick though, can we just appreciate these? Look at that thing. These are brandy wine. I'm actually going to pick these. I'm going to pick tomatoes today. This one is a So this is a faciated, faciated blossom. So this is exactly the concern with them, with these types of blossoms, is that one side will ripen because it's multiple tomatoes put together. So one side will ripen and one side won't. And obviously if we left this side on, it's gonna rot before this side ripens. So things like this get picked and we'll just chop off. What the heck? Like a spider buggy web in there? Ew. Um, but we'll chop off the part that's not ripe. You can see lots of tomatoes are coming in now. Well, guys, I just got stung on the head. He getting stung on the head is like very, very, very painful. I don't know what it is about getting stung on your head that hurts so much. I just got stung. Oh, it freaking hurts. Anyways, I got the um, drip tape up on the three rows that I wanted to. I'm going to weed whack them now, but because there are bees out here and I just got stung and I probably smell like the pheromone now, I'm actually just going to put my suit on real quick. I'll put my jacket on probably. I probably won't 
put the full suit on. Actually, maybe I will because then my legs will be covered uh, so I don't get attacked from the weed whacker. So I'm going to weed whack these rows now. Um, I'm probably not going to get the woven weed fabric down today because, like I said, I don't want the staples, but I will get those down very soon.